with Till here and he's from Mind, uh, MindMaster.com which is a mind mapping app that I actually use and uh, the beautiful thing is that it's on the web uh, it's a mind mapping tool on the web and being on the web you might think that okay it's not, it might not look pretty but this is actually pretty wonderful it's got one of the nicest user interface I've ever seen um, and it's very easy to use now Till's gonna show us some of the new features that um, have emerged since uh, I used it last year and so he's gonna pull up the map here and show us something so you got connections between between nodes now, you were saying? Yes, um, for example here we have a connection between two nodes so if, if something relates um, in the mind map you can uh, we just remove this one um, so you can take any node and relate them for example we start from this node we say connect and we, we use a different uh, one and then these two nodes are connected if you move the whole thing um, it stays connected and it should um, yeah, you should see some relation between between nodes that you can't express otherwise yeah? okay one other thing that we that we launched um, is, is the revision slider um, you know that in mindmeister everything is um, version controlled so right. you can actually evolve or see the the, evolution, uh, the the evolution of the map yeah and, oh yeah just to, just to clarify so instead of just one person working on this map you can have several people so he if this is like a mind map wiki or what do you call it? Yeah, wiki maps. Wiki map. Uh, yeah. So okay. you can you can you can uh, every, you can uh, make a map public and invite either you invite people uh, to mm -hmm. collaborate, but you can also um, make the the map um, a wiki map and then everybody that has a mindmaster who has a mindmaster account can uh, edit the map. Actually. Okay. And then if you if you want to see how the map evolved over time, you can go into the revision slider and by just dragging around. Software here the, the revisions the you can go back in time um, it's almost an animation of how this mind map organically grows yes and with the color coded bullets that you see here green and blue you, or other colors are available for other people then um, you see who did what changes in, at, the, at the time yeah. Yeah. this is wonderful because when we look at text wikis for instance uh, the text changes are colorized in different colors in this case in a mind map environment it'd be more challenging to show that but you've managed to show that using the, the color dots over there yes the color dots and um, the real animation which is in, in, yeah. wiki, uh, in, in, in wikis it's you can go back in time but there is no real yeah. um, animation between, between so the changes text the beautiful thing about using a mind map environment is that everything's visual and even in the animation here you kept things visual as well so it's pretty cool um, now you've mentioned that uh, is there anything else about this oh, okay so yeah, just close uh, just close the revision uh, uh, slider um, of course um, I mean, I can show you the wiki map uh, if you want as well. Um, we just go close and we go to the, the public maps, which are actually maps that are available in the internet. So everybody can create maps and just share it with the rest of us. Okay. Uh, so this is the whole user community here? Yes. And if you look at that, I mean, there are a couple of... 393 pages each of 20 pages or there are right. let's say seven to eight thousand maps on uh, public right. maps there and you can search for maps here you can look at most viewed uh, or top so rated on. for example let's yeah. say uh, top viewed and then you can see here that's the map that I was uh, talking earlier the I best see. online coloration tool oh by Robin uh, Good yeah. Robin Good and he actually had a wiki map he closed it now so nobody yeah. can, can edit it uh, just a second um, it's a very huge so we'll yeah yeah and we have to probably um, zoom a little bit in to get everything on the on the screen right uh, so he really did an experiment on collecting collaboration tools in 2008 and trends so for example we see some video conferencing tools here oh, this is wonderful. screen sharing yeah. voice over IP etc and he did that with around a hundred people or so that contributed to the map right and um, added their ideas um, yeah of collaborating uh, in 2008 so yeah. one point to note is if you're a, a, a user you can actually publish it 
and let uh, non-users actually come in and, and change it too? Um, you have to sign up at least okay. with MindMeister uh, to prevent spam, of yeah. course. Um, but you don't have to, or the, the owner, original owner, uh, he doesn't need to share it with you. So if it's a wiki map, you can just go in there and contribute. Yeah? Okay, so there's different user permissions then? Yes. Yeah. I mean, usually you have private maps, you have public maps, you have shared maps with, with different people. Mm -hmm. And so we have a right system uh, sitting on top of MindMeister, of course. Yeah? Now, you've got different pricing schemes as well yes for academic users it's also pretty uh, attractive yeah let's go back to the home page uh, yeah. where we can see um, the different uh, sorry I have to double click here no okay problem. we have um, three plans actually we have individual um, with, which is a single license we have business uh, license which is for teams yeah so right. if you have a team of four five up to a hundred people for example they can sign up in the team and uh, we have an academic version which is actually um, targeting uh, universities uh, right. schools, uh, so even so like someone like me who doesn't have a lot of money, uh, this is just fifteen dollars a year. A year? If it's just me, right? Yeah, that's you. Um, but that's I think you'd need to have uh, twenty people at least oh. if you want to uh, sign up alone. Um, we have a promotion code that had fifty yeah, percent off. So um, instead of fifty uh, US dollar, it's twenty five dollar for a year, which is reasonable. I think, yeah, as well. it's reasonable. Yeah. And you you need to know the promotion code, which you can find on on the price list. It's, it's I think it's called academic. That's the promotion code, and you go to the normal sign up process and enter it there. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is mindmeister.com and uh, right now they are having a promo. If you go to the homepage, you can uh, actually use it for what, six months is it? Free? Yeah, but you have to visit us here. Oh, you have to visit here to get a code. <laughs> so okay. if you are in the back world, you can, uh, you can get a promo for six months for two people in the team edition. Alright, thanks a lot, Till. Thank you. Alright, thank you. <laughs>